goes to everybody, Walker Dead Phoenix here, back again with another video for you guys. This is my review video talking about Season 3 of The Walking Dead Extinction. And, uh, yeah, my my friend Bri does uh, this show on YouTube called The Walking Dead Extinction. If you guys have not already, check it out. But, uh, yeah, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Season 3 of his Walking Dead Extinction show as a whole. And, uh, yeah, let's get into this uh, review now, shall we? Um, the things I liked it in, 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 in this season, I liked it, the character of Benjamin, I really liked his character, I really do believe that Benjamin, uh, was a pretty cool main character this season, and Bri did a pretty great job, um, you know, he did a good job writing this character, and I cannot wait to see his character in season 4, he did all, he also did a pretty good job with some of the side characters, and he also did a pretty good job with Rachel. And, uh, yeah. Uh, this season was actually pretty cool. It was pretty action-packed. And, uh, yeah. I, I, I just really enjoyed this season. Um, I did enjoy seasons 1 and 2 of his Walking Dead Extinction uh, series. But with season 3, whoa. Just, whoa. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, something about... Season 3 of his Walking Dead Extinction series, like, it just sucks you in, you know? Like, like for example, the, the, I don't know, the way he just, the, the way he wrote Benjamin, the way, um, the way this season was handled. Like, I, I did like how Benjamin killed, uh, the king. I did like how he killed Xavier. And, uh, I, I did like that, you know? He, uh, those two, those two... Those two really bad people got what was coming to them, and yeah, it was pretty satisfying seeing them die. And yeah, Bri did a pretty good job, you know, ending their stories. And uh, yeah, and, and let's be honest here, let's be one hundred percent honest here. What Bri, like, like, like the way Bri uh, had Benjamin kill, um, um, this guy by you know playing his arm off and, and putting it in, in, in his mouth. I'm like, that's something AMC would never do. And I know it's something AMC would never do. However, Bri had the balls to do it. The the kill that guy in the in the way that that Bri wrote it. And the way he did it, it was so well done. It was so satisfying. It made sense for the story. And uh yeah, it, it was just one of those cool scenes in season three. Um yeah, another another uh, good negative I had was John Mars in season three B. He was actually a pretty good character, and and I actually liked it, his dynamic with Benjamin. Like you can tell that John Mar John Mars was becoming like you know a father figure to Benjamin, which is understandable. And and uh, yeah, he was becoming a father figure to Benjamin, but then he. Spoilers and yes, yeah, spoilers ahead. Um, John Mars he dies in the season three finale of Bry's Walking Dead Extinction series, and I mean, I mean, like I said, I mean, like I said before, I didn't, I didn't know, I, I didn't know why as the Bry was gonna kill him off. However, um, I did, I mean, I did, I mean, I could understand. As to why, uh, as to why Bri killed John Mars off, but I mean, I mean, his, I mean, at least with his death, it did indeed had somewhat of an impact on Benjamin and Rachel because in the season three finale, Rachel was in tears and she, she was like, "I'm sorry, John," and then Rachel just shoots him in the head because um she she didn't want him to turn into a walker and bite her, so because because of that, Rachel. Rachel had to put down John Mars by shooting him in the head. And uh, let's talk. And another really good positive I have. Let's talk about that post credit scene. Spoilers. And again, spoilers to those who have not seen the season three finale of Brian's uh, Walking Dead Extinction series. Uh, spoilers ahead. Three, two, one. The post credit scene. We get our first official sneak peek of the CRM. Because, I don't know, like, something about this post credit scene had me on the edge of my chair. Like, whoa! The CRLM, because, I don't know, like, I wasn't expecting it. I mean, 
I was I was expecting something else, but but from what we got, it was something pretty interesting and satisfying, and it does indeed tie into um the CRM in the Walking Dead TV show universe with the whole thing with the CRM, and I I liked it. I I mean. I just really liked that. I mean, it was an interesting post credit scene, and it really sets up somewhat of the tone for Season 4 going forward, because I don't know, just, whoa, like, like, wow. Because, well, from there, yeah, like, from there, the CRM are going to come into Season 4, and they're going to be causing some big-ass problems for Bobby Benjamin and the others. And uh, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. A negative I did, and this is uh, one of the negatives I did have uh, of season three B of Brian's Walking Dead Extinction Show: the death of Brandon. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, why, why, uh, why would you kill off Brandon? I mean, that's why I told Brian. I'm like, why bring up, why bring back Brandon? In the season two finale, just to kill him in season three B, I'm like, I don't know, like I'm like, okay, if you're gonna kill off Brandon, why not wait until season four A to do it? I'm, but then again, I can understand as to why Bri killed off Brandon, but I, I don't know, I, I, like a part, I don't know, it's like fifty fifty. Like a part of me understands as to why Brandon had to die in the Walking Extinction, but then there's also a part of me that that was like, well, why? I bring him back in season two for now just to kill. I don't know. Like I said, it's 50 50. I know it's a small negative, but I, I mean, I, I don't know. It's, again, it's 50 50. Like, I, I mean, it wasn't bad, bad. I can understand. Again, a part of me can understand as to why the death had to happen in season 3B, but I, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, I mean, again, I'm not saying it, it did, didn't make sense for the story. I'm not saying it's dumb. I'm, I'm just pointing out. The small little negative, like, you know, hey, why why bring him back into season two for now just to kill him, if you know what I mean. Another negative I did have this season was was uh Carla. Um I, I don't know, like I, I don't know, like I can't put my finger on it's like we didn't get enough of Carla this season. I mean, sure, we did get a lot of her in seasons one and two from what we got. However, for season three, I feel like we didn't get much from her. And I don't know, like, I, I wanted to see more of that friendship between her and Benjamin and uh, this season, and I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain it. Again, it, it just, I just feel like we didn't get enough of that. I mean, can it change in season four? Like, could we get it in season four as time goes on? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And I, and again, I know it's another small negative. I'm just pointing it out there because I, I don't know how to, but again, I, I just feel like we didn't get enough of those two characters interacting this season. I'm like, yeah, we did get a lot between Benjamin and Rachel. However, I mean, with Benjamin and Carla, I mean, I don't know. I feel like we didn't get enough of their dynamic this season. But, I mean, we'll see what happens for season four. Because, and spoilers, and yes, I'm going to say this again, spoilers... Uh, Benjamin and Rachel uh, get together. Yes, they do get together in season towards the very, very end of season three B. However, um, I'm curious to know what Carla's reaction is gonna be to those two being together, like being officially together as a couple. Because I don't know. I, I, I weirdly enough, I, I always felt like Carla had feelings for Benjamin in a weird way. But, I mean, we'll see how that goes. I mean, I don't know. Like, that, that's, that, that is something I want to see for season four. Like, Carla's reaction to those two being together. Like, Carla being like, what? W what? Y you guys are together now? Like, like I don't know. Like, I, I do see her saying something like that. But, I mean, who knows? I mean, I mean, never say never, right? I mean, anything is possible. I mean, this is the Walking Dead extinction, after all, where things can go full fledged injustice, but Walking Dead style. You know what I mean? But, but yeah, this season was pretty interesting. I really enjoyed this season, and if I had to rate it, I would rate season three of Brian's Walking Dead Extinction series. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten. I really enjoyed this season, 
and I cannot wait for season four, and I can't wait to see the CRM, like, and I cannot wait to see Brian take of the CRM. Like, what is he going to do going forward with that? And, yeah, I just can't wait for season four. I cannot wait for season four. I can't wait to get more Benjamin and Rachel and Carla. After all, they're, they are the final three season, season one characters of, like, you know, from, well, no, not, not, not Rachel. Yeah, I guess you could argue that, yes, Benjamin and Carla are the final three, well, final two season one characters from season one. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, again, we're going to have to wait and see. But, but who knows? I mean, I mean, never say never, right? After all, I mean, anything's possible in The Walking Dead Extinction. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. But anyway, that's uh, that's all that's all I have for this video. And, uh, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. It, it, it supports the channel as much as you guys can know. Uh, so please, please leave a like on this video if you want to see more in the future. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, peace out.